I'm Jeannie Burnick, editor of Top Producer Magazine, and I'm here at the 2010 Top Producer Seminar with Mike Cavanaugh with Agrigold. Mike, you were telling me earlier about some new research on twin rows. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes. Uh, back in uh, last year, 2009, we uh, decided to put a lot of testing sites out. Uh, actually, we did 37 uh, testing locations throughout the country. Uh, with the Agrigold agronomy team. Um, the goal was to find out if there is a difference in yield when we go from 30 inch rows to twin rows. You know, over the last several years, uh, the goal of the American farmer is to produce more corn. And somehow uh, we're going to have to figure out ways of uh, taking corn production to another level, so to speak. So. Uh, ultimately, by doing that, everybody feels like they need to plant more uh, kernels per acre, put more plants per acre out there uh, to get more ears per acre. So with that being said, uh, we have a lot of customers that are asking, what hybrids do we use uh, at these higher populations? Uh, how do we manage our hybrids? Uh, what hybrids will go into a narrow row or a twin row system? So that, those are some things that really possessed us to go ahead and do some of this, this research. Um, the nice thing about it is we finally uh, uh, compiled all of our data, uh, our, our twin rows versus our 30s. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we, we compared twins versus 30s at four different populations, 28,000, 33,000, 38,000, and 43,000 plants per acre. And we were looking for trends uh, in a twin versus a 30 inch row system. And what we saw was uh, uh, pretty fascinating since we didn't have very much stress uh, this year uh, as far as moisture stress or heat stress. Um, we still saw a 4.9 bushel advantage of twin rows over a 30 inch row. And that was uh, pretty fascinating uh, for us to see. We did see a huge difference in genetics. Uh, we feel like all corn plants were not created equal. We feel, feel like that uh, corn plants need to be broke out into families. And we categorize our genetics into five different families. Uh, two of them that we sell a lot of them in the marketplace are family bees, which are a very flexible ear type, meaning that they, they uh, stretch out in length and they flex in girth. Um, as long as uh, there's not too much stress uh, within the row or too much interplant competition uh, within the row uh, for those plants to go ahead and do their thing. Uh, the other uh, type of genetics we were testing were family F genetics and those are more of a fixed or semi-fixed ear type that are very population driven. Uh, we feel like uh, we've always said that uh, in a 30 inch row you know, the more you plant, the more you're going to get. So we were really looking at, uh, you know, what the differences were going to be in those genetics as well. And we saw a huge difference. Our family bees, the flexible ear type hybrids, really showed a huge response to not only going to twin rows, but they showed a, a response of going to higher population because we alleviated that stress. Uh, we actually saw a 6.1 bushel advantage in a family B on a twin row. Now, whenever we're looking at the family F, the fixed ear uh, type hybrids, we're looking at about a 3.8 bushel advantage across the board. So with that being said, um, you know, we, we really feel like some of the keys behind this uh, uh, twin row research is number one, understanding the genetics and understanding what we're trying to get accomplished. Um, you know, whenever you, uh, you plant uh, different genetics, we, we got to realize that we've got to plant them at different populations and genetics are going to do different things in different environments. We just compiled all of our data in our research book and we, we got it done uh, last week. Uh, we've, we've got it available uh, to our customers, to growers. Uh, we made a lot of them and it's got a lot of good information. Uh, we're, we're talking about Every, all the data that we, we've, we found uh, in these trials uh, based on yield, based on genetics, and we also looked at some uh, agronomic uh, practices also, or agronomic uh, 
um, pieces of the, the puzzle as well as it pertains to ear heights, plant heights, uh, stalk diameter, uh, roots. Uh, we certainly did see uh, bigger roots and bigger stalk diameter in the, tw in the twin rows versus uh, the 30 inch row across the board. So that was pretty fascinating as well. Very good. You can look for more information from Agrigold and the upcoming issues of Top Producer and online at topproduceronline.com. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.